the Blade Files. Yes, guys, your boy Ice Wolf Cosplay. Yet another interview to do, because they're starting to come thick and fast now. So today we're going to go and catch up with Hamilton's very own Spartan, even though he lives in Auckland now, Joshua Thompson. So. We're going to find out what he loves about being a Spartan, how he relates that to cosplay, obviously, and um, his thoughts on many other things. So, check it out. Coming at you. Okay, so you're back with your boy Ice for Cosplay on the fifth episode of The Cutting Edge of NZ Cosplay. This time, we've got our uh, Hamilton's resident Spartan, although he lives in Auckland now, yes. Joshua Thompson. And obviously, he's cosplaying today as King Leonidas. Good oh. to be here. Okay, so, like always, we just kick it off. How long have you been cosplaying for, and when did you get started? Uh, I think three years ago I did the Balkan Armageddon. That was my first one. Yeah. As uh, the Spartan? Yes. My first Armageddon I dressed up. Yeah. As an artist. And it's always like it's your main cosplay now? Yeah. Everyone knows me for it. And yeah. Pretty much. I've used it at least once for every army gear. I didn't wear it at Hamilton, but mostly wear this at least once. Yeah. So what is cosplay really about for you? Uh, definitely about meeting new people, uh, just portraying a character for me personally. Yeah. I like it when other characters are like in role and in theme. It's really cool if you go up to them and they sound like like a Joker. I went up to a Joker and he sounded like the Joker and he's freaked yeah. me out a little bit. Yeah, yeah. He put a knife to my mouth and I was that was really cool. So that was, that was Adam who did that. Oh yeah, yeah. Good joke. Oh yeah, totally so. Fully in role. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like. When you, obviously when you chose you were going to do the Spartan for your cosplay, did you fully research the backstory, did you get down all the mannerisms? Yeah, I've watched the movie about eight times, so I got the movie down. Yeah. I read a history book on Sparta, so I know all the history pretty much. Yeah. I forget a few details and dates, but I know all the parts. Do you do that just so you can sort of add more genuineness or realism to the character that you're... I'm actually just really interested in Sparta. Yeah. So, like, did that come about because you like to cosplay that character or you were into um, Spartan before you decided to cosplay? Yeah, before I knew about Armageddon, I had a lot of money in my bank, so I decided to buy a Spartan shield. And, like, all my mates were like, whoa, you have a shield. And then I saw the other Spartan stuff on the internet, so I bought... I bought the sword next, then I bought the helmet, then I was like, oh, I may as well just spend another, what, 1.8 1, 1. grand and buy the rest of the outfit. I didn't even know what cosplay was at that point. Yeah. I didn't know what Armageddon was, I just wanted to be a Spartan. So and had some money to be on. Yes, I just started training hard in the gym, like, reading up on Sparta, watching the movie, like, learning how they work hard. Yeah. So I pretty much considered myself a Spartan, not a cosplayer, for a long time. Yeah. So obviously your love of that character has, has moved over into real life for you. Yeah, big definitely. Time. Spartan way of life. Yeah. As long as you're not standing in front of a well, you probably don't have any reason to, to worry. What are your main motivations behind the cosplays that you do, and how do you go about picking one? Because you've done more, obviously, than just the Spartan cosplay. Yeah, I've done another four or five. Um, I normally pick one that I can, I can embody and act for. My slave cosplay is pretty good because I have a beard. Yeah. So I can act that. Oh, I did begging. I did begging in that outfit. I made about fifty dollars. <laughs> That's got fully enrolled. I didn't break. I didn't break my theme the whole day. People were like, "Wow, this guy, he's actually a peasant." <laughs> modern I, wouldn't, day peasant. I wouldn't say any like modern words. So I was like, I used the word artifact for phones. Yeah, I was in, I was in roll the whole day. That's <laughs> easy. And people loved it too. Like they're giving me money because they were really entertained at my cosplay. Yeah. 
Well, that's what really cosplay is about for me, yeah. Taking it the full nine. So, how much do you like to embody the character, and is it all about becoming the character for the day for you? Obviously. Yeah. For me, it is. I see people that don't do that, and that's all right for them if they don't want to, but you should at least know your character. I went up to Goku once, I was like, do the, do the spirit bomb, and he went like this. I was like, oh. Classic mistake. Oh, how are you dressed up as Goku? Oh, God. And it takes way more episodes <laughs> anyway to, to perform that, so what's going on there? Yeah, but the lo people I really like respect are other people who embody their characters too, or who have really good outfits, and they're not just the outfit, but like also their face and like the facial hair or hair. Yeah. The more you can look like the character, the better, I reckon. Yeah. So, like, you're it all about... More genuine. Get the haircut, get the facial hair if it's required. Yeah, see, I got the fake. I did like that touch, yeah. that's an awesome detail. I, got, I went to a hairdresser's and asked for them to make me a rat's tail, like, and they got all these hair colours and they found the one that was similar to my hair. Wow. So it looks pretty legit, I think. That is the epitome of canon. How much does your love of cosplay affect your life outside of it? Oh, I'm a bit racist. I don't like Persians. <laughs> you know? I did, I did meet a Persian and he was an alright guy. I still held it against him, the fact of his <laughs> descent to Persia. Um, was it an again or was it just like in no, normal, was real life? normal life? He knew I was a Spartan though. <laughs> He's like, I gotta tell you, I'm Persian. I was like, oh. I want to like you, man, but... Did he ask you for person. a simple gift? <laughs> <laughs> no, he didn't. Uh, that was just as well. well. He didn't want to be kicked, I don't think. Yeah, but yeah. Good other than that, I also, like... As I said before, I try to... Like, be a Spartan when I'm training in the gym. Or doing gymnastics, because I'm an ex-gymnast. So, like, you, you always get that voice in your head that's like, oh, that's enough reps, like, give up. Yeah, There's yeah. There's that other voice for me that's like, don't be a bitch, you're a fucking Spartan. Be a Spartan. Be a Spartan, keep going. The yeah. Unitas wouldn't give up. They fought for two days, overnight, just killing Persians. So not much food, constant yep. battle. Nothing but art. And it's not easy to kill a man. I mean, you have to thrust his feet really hard. Yeah. Imagine yep. killing, like, 20 in two days with no rest, no sleep. And food. And then and then you have these little problems like, oh, I don't want to do any more reps. Stop complaining, mate. <laughs> don't be a weakling. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much. Oh, and I'm a Spartan PT, so being a Spartan moved into real life for me when I, my job title's actually Spartan PT. So yeah, yeah. I have seen that. Yeah, so it's affected my life quite a lot. Mainly the Spartan cosplay, not the other four or five so yeah. much. Just this, yeah. Obviously with good results. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> did you. Did you show your biceps to the camera before? No, I didn't, did but that's show. why I'm leaning it makes it look a bit bigger. If I, I lean it against it's my cold. hand. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you get when you abstain Sorry. from human blood and you just take serum. <laughs> but anyway, the interview's not about me. How do your friends and family view your love of cosplay? Uh, or even your your love of a Spartan character? Well, look, my friends probably, they wouldn't think my cosplaying is cool. But the Spartan cosplay in particular, they think it's really cool. Yeah. Like, I do have a bearded Goku, I call it cosplay, because I have a beard and I find it. It's not a 100% genuine Goku one. Yeah. But, but that's not as cool, though. My mates wouldn't think it's that cool. Yeah. But when they see the Spartan one, they, they think it's cool, yeah. Our family think, my family's all good. Sister Jamie, she does cosplaying as well, so. Yeah. Jordan, my little brother, he's a peasant. Always been buying a peasant outfit. Yeah. He's getting into it, I think, so. So all my family's pretty supportive. Yeah. That's cool. That's pretty That's good. cool. What was it about cosplay that initially pulled you in? Like, what really made you want to try it? Um, I don't know. My first, like, Armageddon. Well, at first I didn't want to try it. Like, you know how I got the Spartan outfit? Yeah. I didn't even know what Armageddon was. All these people, like, 
they saw my Spartan outfit, these nerdy people, and they're like, oh, you should go to Armageddon. And I was like, oh, what's that? And they're like, oh, these cosplayers are there, they make, and I was like, oh, what do they do? They're like, they make their own outfits and they wear them at Armageddon. And I'm like, oh, I didn't make the outfit. Yeah. Uh, and they're like, oh, just go anyway. They'll think it's really cool. Yeah, so it took me about a year of cosplaying before I admitted I was a cosplayer. Yeah. Just because this is really, I just consider it armor. And yeah. I bought it. Yeah. But, and what was the question? <laughs> 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 what was it about cosplay that initially pulled you in? Oh, just the, just the environment at Armageddon's awesome. Like you yeah. can act like your character. No one will, no one will judge you or anything. Everyone's really happy and friendly. You can make heaps of mates. And yeah. Make heaps of people laugh. Make little kids like look up to you. Yeah. If they're not scared of you, which is normally normally they just hide behind. The <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sometimes they look up to you and. You, Give them a fist or something. Yeah. Because um, yeah. if you've seen the first and third interview, it's actually this guy that got those people into it. Yeah, Blair was on my second arm again. Yeah. On the Sunday in Auckland. Yeah, he seems fully all about it now. Yeah, he's making outfits. Yeah. <laughs> do you think that cosplay is just for nerds, or like, do you even think it's nerdy? I think it's pretty nerdy. Yeah. I it think seems like, to be a 50-50 thing. I think the people who dress up at Armageddon, like, probably about 50% of them are a bit nerdy and weird. Yeah. I consider myself a bit more normal, even though I do, like, fully get into a bigger role, and get on my <laughs> knees and get yeah. for money. Like, outside of Armageddon, I'm pretty normal. Yeah, it's so like... I think maybe, like, 50% of the people who dress up outside of Armageddon, they're still a bit nerdy. Yeah. So I think it attracts nerds, but there's also a lot of, like, just average Joes dressing up yeah. as well, so it's a good mix. Because, like, like, more mainstream with normal people. Yeah. Because, well, like, I get the impression from you and Jamie that you guys are really into the, the acting side of it and, and really fully assuming the role. Yeah, people really love that too, like, people who go up to you and ask for photos, they're like, oh my god, he sounds like him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he does the voice. He has a beard, can I touch the beard? <laughs> yeah. like, did you grow up just for this outfit? Did you? Originally, I grew my beard because of Leonidas in the movie. Yeah. And then it just became part of me, so I just kept it. But, yeah, without without 300, the movie, Yeah. I don't know if I'd have a beard or not. I don't know if I can picture you without a beard, actually. There's photos. <laughs> <laughs> I've only had it for a year and a bit. It's amazing growth for a year. It's alright, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Do you think that with cosplay gaining popularity with the general public that it could be a bad thing for it to be considered mainstream? I think it's getting more mainstream and I like it. Yeah. It's getting more popular so more people get put money into it and yeah. get more cosplays as well. Like. It's, you have to, it's less comfortable in a big environment where you don't know everyone, but yeah, yeah. you get good and bad with more crowds, but I think it's a good thing. Yeah. Like, you don't want it to just be forgotten and die out. Yeah, well. Or do you? Or, not at all. See, I've just gotten into it, so. Yeah. No, it's good. It's getting more popular, I reckon. Yeah. So the more popularity that cosplay gets can only be a good thing for it? Yeah. Are there like, um, unless you, you like to keep this sort of thing secret, are there certain websites that you use obviously to buy your stuff or to get advice on where to go to buy your stuff? Mostly Google. Yeah. Um, there's, there's a website called Medieval Collectibles. I've gone there just to buy random things. They, just, they sell like all these accessories and armour. Anything from a $10,000 suit of armour to like a drinking horn or a ring, they sell like anything nerdy or medieval or Celtic. Yeah. It's a really good website. It's pretty expensive with the shipping. Yeah. I think, yeah, I just use Google search engine and search up the outfit I want, usually. Did you build the peasant outfit yourself? You bought that too? That one was Frontier costume. So the Spartan one I bought from America, 
Then the Goku outfit I got from Armageddon. Yeah. How many more cosplays do I have? Oh, I got a Crixus one from Frontier costume. Yeah. So pretty much all bought, really. So you can vouch for the equality? They're pretty good? Well, they're all, they're bankrupt now or something. Oh, well. <laughs> You go that line of questioning out the window. I think they closed down, yeah. Yeah. So there's no more. They're really good at making stuff, but I don't think they're around anymore. Oh, wow. No, I did, for the Spartan cosplay, I did make the spear, kind of. Yeah, can we fully see that? Right? Oh, shit. Okay. Was it the spear? I did buy the head and the butt of it. Yeah. And I bought the, I bought a wood piece, just, yeah. I pretty much made it except for the head and the butt, which are actual steel. Yeah. So for the Spartan outfit, I made the spear, my beard, and the body. But the rest of it I bought. Just want to tell everyone I'll begin. Doesn't mean making the body was easy. I imagine that was probably one of the hardest. It probably took a lot of years. Yeah. It definitely took a lot of years. <laughs> it looks like it has. But then the whole look is there, so... Yeah, I just don't have the tan, to be honest. Some people are saying, like, oh, you should get a tan. I don't know what to do, eh? <laughs> do you think it's necessary? Do you think it would complete your look at the day? Leonidas had a bit more of a tan, so... It would, it would be better, but... That's just so much effort. Yeah. It's, don't spray tans look bad? Well, I suppose it's nice to have access to makeup artists too, isn't it? The yeah. whole trailer full of them. Better makeup artists, that'd be good. Yeah. To make it look legit. <laughs> yeah, well. Not like a bad spray tan. Yeah. yeah. Have you sort of like, obviously when you cut down, when you're getting ready for a con, have you sort of considered the airbrushing to highlight the muscle structure? Uh, or you just go hard out on cutting down and... Yeah, I actually do a month of cutting. Yeah. So how's that for dedication? So like, six months of the year I won't have abs. Because I'll just be like bulking, which is pretty much enjoying food. Yeah. Keeping reasonably healthy food. But before I'm again, I take about a month or two, I just lower my intake slowly. And then the week before, I lower my intake like even more. In the last three days, I like start dehydrating. Wow. So I don't drink water like the day before I'm again. That is total dedication. So That's yeah. Spartan. Beat that. <laughs> you know what bodybuilders do, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. People don't realise it's hard to have abs all year round. <laughs> yeah, no, I thought it just takes like fif 15 minutes here and there, like yeah. the ad says, you know. Not if you, yeah. And this is your really skinny body type, but not me. Yeah, skinny is not... Skinny abs. Cut. Cut. It's just skinny. <laughs> so, like, what's your favourite cosplay today? Yours or someone else's will both. Well, Nathan has a really good army cosplay. His gun's worth more than my whole Spartan outfit. Yeah, he was His M16 about is about $5,000, and it looks really good. Well, that's one of my favorite cosplays. Yeah. Um, well, my sister's Dark Magician is amazing as well. Yeah, that's super popular. There's too. a lot of really good cosplays of like New Zealand. Yeah. Yeah. Like about ten like the quality of Dark Magician or My Leonidas or the Nathan's Army cosplay. Yeah. I just can't yeah, name them all right now, but there's a lot of good cosplays out there. Yeah. There are, there are. Who or what are your greatest inspirations cosplay wise or even in love? I don't know any cosplayers, but obviously Leonidas, the historical figure, Gerard Butler a little bit, yeah. I want to get a signature on my shield. Yeah. So far I've got Goku's signature and um, Crixus. Yeah. I need like the actual actor from 300 to sign it. Yeah. But yeah, Crixus is a good inspiration. Who else? Uh, yeah, pretty much anyone manly and yeah. in a medieval series. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> do you, like, obviously with your love of Leonidas, do you, were his value something that you took on that, that you sort of wanted to transpose to real life because you fully liked that character or you just liked the look and 
the way he lives his life? Or? Um, well, it started out with, I liked the movie. But then I looked up, I read a whole history book on all the Spartan history, and their values were pretty good, most of them. Yeah. Except for killing slaves and stuff. They used to kill slaves as part of their Spartan training, but they weren't allowed to get caught. That was one of their like challenges before they could become a Spartan. Yeah. Secretly kill a slave, yeah. But just their hard work and dedication. Yeah. 100% effort in their old training. Yeah. Like, they died training. They'd rather die than fail. Yeah. Right, there you go. <laughs> Spartan dedication. <laughs> yeah. Spartan for life. Um... Within the cosplay community, there's definitely a great sense of camaraderie. What's mm. your favourite aspect of the cosplay community in general? Just the the openness to each other. We, like, so you go up to talk to someone, they're always friendly. Like, even like me in this outfit or other people with really popular outfits. Yeah. You literally get you get people coming up to you every like fifteen seconds. Like sometimes you start getting cues of people taking photos of you. I don't, but obviously he does. <laughs> there are more popular like cosplays. Like in my other ones, I don't. It's easier for me. I don't get as recognised. So I can just run around and be silly. Yeah. But you get those outfits where you just can't move. You take like three steps. But even though people are getting like harassed the whole day, like that, like maybe a thousand photos, they're still really friendly to everyone. Yeah. It's just a really good environment to be around. How do you find that, like, when you're at a get-in, do you, do you like the attention that your cosplay brings you? Or, like, do you like it just because you like the attention, or do you feel it validating of, of your portrayal of the character? What do I like about the attention? Yeah. Oh, I've never thought about that, eh? <laughs> like, if someone comes up and says, man, that's a deadly outfit, is it different for you when someone comes up and says, oh my god, you are so Leonidas, dude, it's, it's yeah. insane. No, definitely when they, when they say Leonidas, yeah. I just like, yes, you know. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. When, when other people are like, oh, warrior, oh, Roman. It's like, it's like they know the good help, but they know nothing. Yeah. They haven't even seen the movie. <laughs> <laughs> So it makes you feel a bit bad on the inside. Yeah. Oh, there's my spear. <laughs> How do you think New Zealand stacks up against overseas cosplay-wise? Yeah, I think we stack up just fine, really. Like, obviously, there's a lot of people overseas and a small amount of people in New Zealand, but yeah. I think I think the best cosplayers in New Zealand are just as good as the best cosplayers like, overseas. Like, what? Why would their equipment be in better? It's yeah. Not really, like, like Nathan's guns worth five thousand dollars. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't, I wouldn't see a better cosplayer than, than that. Plus, our Leonidas is. I did Google search Leonidas cosplay. Yeah. There was one cosplay where, wow, he had a real. I think he bought the same outfit as me. Yeah. He had a he had a better body than me, but I had a better beard, so I was like. <laughs> I was trying to find someone to see if there's a better Leonidas cosplay than me, but I didn't even come up on the search engine, so there could be hidden Leonidas yeah. out there, like across the ocean. I don't even know. Because I've actually done that. I've Googled Blade cosplay to see if I would come up in it. Yeah. And I finally had. Google needs. You did. <laughs> yeah, man. Like, Google needs to catch up. Yeah. What, you know? Like, I've been cosplaying this for three years, and yeah. Google just doesn't realise. Yeah. I think it's sort of where you post, I don't know, yeah, what you call yourself to. So I start advertising myself so I can be Google search. You know, it, it can, you never know. You may help someone around the world get a better looking Leonidas. Yeah. Obviously not better, but... <laughs> uh, given Armageddon is the main event for cosplaying as well as the smaller events like Overload and the picnics and stuff, yeah. is it your main reason for going to an Armageddon or, you know, to like... Do you go for the toys and, and posters? Why do I go down again? Yeah. <laughs> Mainly to just have a good time, really. I just have a great time being a character. I'm getting a, I was getting a bit bored of this character because 
Leonardo doesn't really do much. He just keeps quiet. Nods, yells, yells from time to time, like, oh! <laughs> well, that's, that's a bit of yelling. Yeah. But apart from that, I can't do much acting. I'll just pretty much be myself. Yeah. So, but my other cosplays, like, I tend to have a bit more fun sometimes. Like, when I, when I was doing the Goku one, I was running, because I'm a gymnast, I was yeah. doing a lot of backflips and handstand press-ups, and people were like, whoa! He's the strongest Goku. He's doing like one-handed <laughs> handstands. It's over nine thousand. <laughs> but yeah, it's really good to be a character. Just have fun. People talk to people. Yeah. Find other people acting as their character as well, and just go around. But I was, I started making a like a new take on the Leonidas cosplay. Yeah. Just because I was getting a little bit bored, so I started like hiring slaves. <laughs> so, like in the movie you don't see much slavery but in history that each Spartan had about five slaves they trained 24 7 they didn't have to cook or do any work because they have five slaves each so I've been like kicking around slaves making them dance for me or like, embarrassing them in front of people I'm again <laughs> like the slaves are they're completely like consented to it they're, they're in role too as the slaves. Yeah. They're in character. I'm in character as the, the bad guy. And I'm just kicking them around, which is the Sparta culture, so. That's embodiment. And people people enjoy that as well. Like, yeah, I find it quite entertaining to watch. Some people like, get a bit freaked out though. They're like, you can't treat someone like that. <laughs> they're like, it's okay, he's a slave. <laughs> it's a hell of he's Yeah. Not, it's not a citizen. If you didn't know, a helot is actually Spartan for, well, it's what Spartans call these though, so. Yeah. There you go. History lesson. <laughs> don't get it wrong. So most people really enjoy watching you kick around the slave. They just think we're really good actors and people have a great time watching it. I have a great time seeing their satisfaction and yeah. just stay in role. I don't show that I'm enjoying it. But yeah. Okay, um, because I know from our third interview with Jamie, you sort of, you saved her at one point there. Oh yes. From a little bit of um, thing, so <laughs> obviously you're aware of looking out for sort of things like this, so do you have any tips for attending a get-in in cosplay, like how to prep properly, lasting the day, mm. and like photo etiquette? Uh, if you do what I did, wear your outfit and do exercise, do one hour of exercise. Like, I used to wear this helmet, it's it's about three or four kgs, which isn't much, but when you put it on your head, you realize your whole life you've been in the gym, you've been training your arms, your legs, your core. No one trains their neck muscles. Like, no one ever trains their neck muscles. So my neck was, like, ridiculously weak before I, I had to do... I used to train three times a week for a month before they get in, just doing squats in my, with my helmet on, doing walking lunges, yeah. like holding my sword, sword and shield and walking. So I did a lot of practice just to wear this for a long amount of time. I think like, you could do a workout in your cosplay at the gym. Yeah. You get really sweaty, it'll be hard to breathe, but you get more used to it, I guess. Because yeah, it can get quite claustrophobic and hard to breathe. And, Tiring. Yeah. But, yeah. As well as obviously, keep a good eye on your cosplaying friends. Look for changes in colour. Yeah. Jamie was like, she was like, uh, and I was like, do you want to go outside? She's like, oh, I'm going to faint. So I just grabbed her arm and I just started jogging. I was like, move out of the way, out of the <laughs> way. Move, move. You went full Spartan. Like, if, if I didn't do that, I w we, we would have been asked for about 50 photos on the way out, because it's Dark Magician, the yeah. artist. Yeah. Like, even by ourselves would be asked for too many. So yeah. A good thing, if you don't want photos, start jogging, and you won't, no one will ask you for a photo. There you go. Pro tip. <laughs> that guy has to be somewhere. I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to intervene. Yeah. <laughs> He's off to Hell's Gate. <laughs> What was the first get in you went to, as well as your favourite get in to date? First get in was Auckland 2013, I think. 
2012, I don't remember. That was like really busy on Saturday, really quiet on Sunday. Uh, my favourite one, probably the most recent Auckland I'm eating when I was begging. Because I made about $80. <laughs> and I did three hours and I made $50. And I did two hours as the beggar and made another $30. So people, That's not a bad early rate for a peasant. That, it was really fun as well. I was on my knees the whole day. People were kicking me like Jamie was kicking me. <laughs> like I liked how other people got into their characters and they're beating me and kicking me. And that was, I really respected that. Did you like? Did you research the role of a beggar, or did you just like um, go off the cuff with the whole thing? I'm a bit of a nerd with like history and stuff, so I played a lot of games and seen a lot of TV shows with. Beggars, so yeah. I just I just mixed that into my own character. I made a backstory and everything. I was like, oh, I'm poor. I can't I can't afford my taxes, so please, please, just just one gold coin. Yeah, I said I had like a wife and kids. I couldn't pay for food. Yeah, that's super cool, man. Yeah. <laughs> super cool. People just found it so funny that they gave me money. <laughs> How many cosplayers can do that? Probably a few. Well, yeah, but, you know, they're all celebrity cosplayers that you have to pay to take a photo with, but... Hey, people do that. Yeah, it's there. Yeah, it's totally a real thing. You find that out when you're in Wellington. Wellington? Yeah. Because, like, um, obviously... Obviously? Can't, what? <laughs> I never thought of that. <laughs> Could be a new thing in NZ cosplay. So that's pretty sad, to be honest, to make people pay for a photo. Yeah. Well, like, I wonder how sort of bummed out people would be to, like, put, I don't know, like, ten months' work into a, a cosplay, and here's old Spartan guy rocks up in his burlap, sort of, like, beggar costume, makes money out of it. <laughs> but there you go. If you can embody the character full enough, that's what you can do. Best and worst experiences at a get -in. Best experience is probably oh, so many good experiences. Like some sometimes I get free stuff just because I look cool. Like girls giving me free lollies from the candy shop, free chocolate bars. I think he's probably talking about so much of him. <laughs> Looks maybe the leather underwear. A lot of people like I see their eyes and they just look down at the leather underwear. Then they look up and they see I'm looking at them and they look away. <laughs> That's a really do that. it's an often occurrence for me. <laughs> yeah. Did you like when you got that outfit? Had you considered you would have to wear leather underwear to be that character? You had no problem with it, or you just you oh. you were completely confident to just tuck on leather underwear as long as as long as I felt cut enough. I'm not really self conscious. I know. Really white thighs. You probably see how white my thighs are. That's why I've got put an arm next to my thigh. <laughs> see, the, see that? See, look how white that is. Oh my god! That's a little bit self conscious about the lack of tan, but. It's people, almost people, LED. <laughs> people look past that when they see you're reasonably muscly. And they'll, yeah. So, my best experience is probably just. When people see me in character and they jump in character with me, like one of my one of my mates from cosplay, is Connell Connell Boyce, he was I was dressed as a peasant, and I was just like begging away, and he came up to me and he was just talking to me and he was in character as a, and I called him Seer, because he was like asking me about my dreams. Yeah. He's like, in your dreams we were Spartan yesterday. I, was like, I did have that dream. So that was the only way I could break character to talk about yesterday when yeah. I was in a different cosplay. Yeah. So he was, he was on to it for like figuring that out. That's super cool. Pretending to be a seer. Yeah, then you, then we were talking about yesterday like through my dream I had. Yeah. But that was my, probably one of my favourite moments. Um, least favourite moment probably... Honestly, every now and then people, people like, ugh. Give you that look. <laughs> Probably when I was begging as well. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? 
Like, this is obviously general public, not yeah. cosplayers. Yeah, please. What? Get away. <laughs> <laughs> or just sometimes, like, security asking you, like, are you begging or checking your weapons and stuff? Some, sometimes they don't like weapons. But I haven't heard anyone. <laughs> I'd probably think twice to approach my, him about checking I his keep, weapon. I keep my sword sheathed. His actual sword, not John. Oh, <laughs> both of my swords are sheathed. <laughs> Barely. People always ask me, "Are you wearing another? Are you wearing anything under that?" Yes, I do wear underwear under my leather underwear. There you go. That would be unsanitary, and I'd have to wash them. <laughs> I said that. <laughs> <laughs> are there any cosplay projects that have like you've got in mind for the future that are sort of, I don't know, like maybe a little way off and you're not quite ready to do yet? Yeah, um, I'm currently buying, well it's not, it's not much for cosplay, it's more of a really cool character. Have you seen Little Britain? That's an old show. Yeah. That's a totally old show. Really funny show. One of the characters is, it's a Scottish, Scottish guy from a restaurant, he's the chef there. Yeah. And he just... He walks up to people and like at his restaurant he's like he's like, How are you going? So he's he's more, um, is the food good? And the guy will be like, Oh, what's in the muffin? And he'll just say like a riddle about the food, like sourry sweet and sweet to the touch. And this fucking yeah. <laughs> and he plays a flute in between each line. So I'm gonna buy that outfit and I'm just gonna walk around all day and annoy people and off the walk I'm say like. riddles like what's white and comes from the udder of a cow and then play my flute and <laughs> here's like three different instruments and I've walked on instruments so I'll just be wreaking havoc, havoc all day as an annoying character that no one will know because no one watches Little Britain really. On that note do so you like <laughs> do you find that Armageddon sort of isn't as broad-minded character work because like it's heavily anime and like mm. like it is around the world anyway but like anime influence game influence and there's sort of not really i don't know a lot of things like that like tv characters or yeah um i think the general public actually notice the mainstream stuff more it's the if you talk to a cosplayer yeah they're gonna notice your anime outfits they just talk to it. most cosplayers just anime and they just talk about anime and yeah. They respect other anime characters. Yeah. Most of my like fanboys and fangirls and normal just public people. Yeah, yeah. Because this is a pretty mainstream movie. Yeah. But yeah. I think the general public will know maybe a few people might notice it from Little Britain. The guy just says yes and like yes. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know that guy? Yeah, yeah, well, I haven't yes. seen a lot of it, but I know the show that you're talking about. So he has a beard in one of the one of the scenes too, so that's just like yes. Oh, there we go. There's another character. Beauty characters. So we're maybe coming out in Wellington. I'm planning to do it, so it should be pretty fun. Have you ever thought about giving up the Spartan character, and then maybe like if you wanted to do another character without a beard, would you even consider getting rid of the beard? Spartans with no beard? <laughs> that would be a boy! <laughs> and you cannot sit at the table yet. <laughs> Never shave the beard. Like, I really wanted to do a character from Dragon Ball Z. Yeah. Because I'm just like, I love that show, really. Yeah, yeah. But the only people who have a beard are pretty much Master Roshi. And I don't really want to do Master I would rather do, like, Goku or Vegeta or something. Yeah, yeah. So I'd have bearded Goku, but I'd rather. I want to shave it off for that cosplay, but I can't because it'll take too long to grow back. Yeah. So I just do bearded characters, stick to bearded people. Variants. <laughs> so, okay. It's not, not, not that much options for me, but that's alright. <laughs> Especially in anime, where all of them are clean shaven. Just about everyone in anime is clean shaven. Pretty much. They're all teenagers. All the Japanese. Obviously. I think it's because of Japan. Yeah. Not that keen on beards. All facial here. <laughs> well, that concludes our interview with Hamilton's own Spartan. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you.
And uh, we'll see you next time. See you. Slave, fetch me some water. He should be here any time, really. It's normally pretty quick. Why'd you give him the water first? Get out of my sight! Close the door! Sorry about him. Poorly trained. Obviously. First water in over a day. <laughs> I usually don't drink water, but I wasn't going to say no to him. Slave, we require some entertainment. Come and dance. Dance? Dance! <laughs> what the fuck? You're dancing as shit! Get out! <sighs> so sorry. This is what it's happens when you anger Spartan. It's the only slave I brought with me. The other four in my, in my home. <laughs> okay. <laughs>